All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today we're doing my Project 100 pan update. No buy. Um, it's 2024, new year, same project. <laughs> so um, first of all, let's say I missed my December update, trying to keep it nice and sweet, short and sweet. I basically was sick for most of December. I had like two weeks where I had like a bad cough and like laryngitis and like was totally lost my voice. And then... I was starting to get better. I was feeling great. And then next week I ended up catching COVID. <laughs> Yay. So, and that one took me down. I was out for the count on that one. Basically for, you know, three weeks out of December, I was pretty sick. Um, so that wasn't great. I did, I was able to go to work for two of the weeks and then the rest of the weeks I was out via, because of um, vacation and sickness. So um, yeah, I'm back. I still feel like I sound a little nasally. Uh, but I'm, I'm good. I'm not no longer uh, contagious, and I don't feel awful. However, there definitely is st something still going on um, up there, which is frustrating because I feel fine, but it just needs to go away. But anyways, okay. So enough of that. There's a disclaimer. Um, basically, this is a month and two weeks type of update. However, obviously, it just didn't update in December because I was sick. So that being said, we have a new empty and that empty is my gold eyeshadow from my IBY beauty trio and it was my project or it's my pan that palette um so here we are basically this was a trio and now it is only a single hey because this gold shade that was right there is all gone which is exciting um because it was in another project I still like kind of another project which also I'm kind of like thinking I just for 2024 which I'm not sure because I feel like I want to kind of combine pan that palette and this project pan, but I'm not 100%. I'm a little nervous to do that just because I do like having two separate videos, but let me know what you think. However, it would be easy just to like come on and only do one video a month essentially if I need to, but anyways, um, thinking out loud, let me know what you guys think. We'll see. Anyways, I finished that. <laughs> I finished that uh, eyeshadow. So now we have a total of 17 products done out of 100 products. And we have, um, what well, means we're 17% of the way there. So that's exciting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the products. We'll start with my IBY Beauty Contour Palette, which we only have one contour left in this shade or in this palette. And here we are. It's going, it's moving and grooving, which is exciting. I'm not sure if I have pictures from last month and this month. If I do, we'll put it up. We're moving and grooving on this guy. Um, he's like my last little contour shade in my collection. So, you know, I'm just kind of like taking my time casually panning it and seeing what happens um, and when we finish it. But regardless, he's in my contour slash bronzer category because I feel like I don't need like both. Yeah, once he's gone, he's the last of my contours, and that means that in the contour bronzer category, I will have one more product down. So that would be really cool and really exciting, and we'll see when that happens. Um, don't think it's going to be next month. Maybe March. We'll see how quickly we move through and how much makeup I wear in January. Um, from the looks of it, it'll be a lot, <laughs> considering uh, I'm booked all the way through January in terms of work. So there's that one. Okay, on to my lip gloss, Victoria's Secret lip gloss in Minty Kiss. So where we're at now is well through the kiss right there. So we're all the way up there. I mean, this still has months left because I'm sure some people could blow through this in a month. However, I put on my lips like on the day, um, meaning the day of I don't know, in the morning before work, but I don't reapply at work. We have like really long days, they're really busy. Just don't do that. It will bring a chopstick to reapply at work. But um, yeah, so here we are. So really I just use this like once a day. So we'll see like as it inches up towards, it's probably, I'm gonna say March on that one too. We'll see, I feel like, I really feel March slash maybe April will be like a really big month for getting some uh, products out of here. Okay, so next is going to be my Becca Champagne Pop um, Highlighter. And this one, actually, I feel like, I can't remember, but I feel like the last picture had not too much. There is a few crumblies happening, but there's a lot of pan in this, which is crazy. I mean, we're, we're well, you know, I feel like maybe we'll get to, maybe we'll finish it this year in December. 
but um, crazy. It's already January. It's January 1st, the day that I'm filming it. So I'm like, crazy to think that we have 12 more months until it's December again. Anywho. So maybe in December we'll finish it, but honestly, probably not until next year, 2025. That's crazy. Okay, so next we have my Franken Cream Blush. So I don't really have a way to like measure this. I'm, I mean, here it is. I'm guessing it's like here-ish in here. It's like a lot of, you know, space, but obviously have a lot ways to go in this, but I'm using this every day. This is a bunch of like lipsticks and cream highlighter like mixed together. So, you know, just uh, working our way through it, having a good time with it. Okay, so next is going to be my Laura Geller Easy Illuminating Stick in Ethereal. This is where we're at. I do have it marked on a page in terms of um, how much product we've actually used from it. But here we are. Not much left. However, there's not much to start with. It's a really like, I mean, it's pretty wide, the stick is. So um, yeah, I, I use it every day, but I feel like there's still quite a few, I don't know, like... It's slow moving. <clears throat> okay, so an ethereal is going to be right here. The orange is what we've used up. And that's like, you know, a month and like two weeks worth of product. So, you know, we ha still have quite a ways to go uh, on it and lots more time on it. Well, let's just go through actually all the liners. So we have the MAC eyeliner in Hyacinth. Look at all that orange. That's like the most we've used. Because I mean, now it's my only eyeliner in my collection. Um, so we're just focusing on this and that's how much we've used all that orange, which is great because we're using it with basically almost every, every look. Here we are, lots of movement on it. Still, still a lot to have go, but you know, lots of movement, which is exciting. And then I have my MAC lipstick in Honey Love. This is where we're at, how much we've, uh, used up. Not much. Again, for my lips, I put them on in the morning and then they just wear off throughout the day. I don't reapply. You know, if I'm on the weekends, maybe I will, but usually I don't. So this is how much we have left. Not, I'm really slow moving, honestly, really slow moving, but I'm okay with it. It's fine. Okay. And then we have our ColourPop lip liner in Skimpy. This is how much we have left. Still quite a lot. I don't think we brought this in not too long ago, but this is, I mean, if you look at the, how much we've used, I do think that that's a nice amount, honestly seems like a pretty big jump to me. When I marked it and I saw how long we had, I was like, wow, we're doing good. <laughs> Next, we have my Tarte color wheel and we're panning the blush icon. And I'm not sure if I have pictures from last month or this month. I feel like I are from last month to compare to this month. I feel like I don't because there's really not a dip happening. I'm kind of just scratching the surface and just starting to take the embossing off of it. So, you know, there's still a ways to go on this guy. Still loving it though. Still working our way through it. I think we, we brought it in not too long ago. So, you know, we're having a good time. We're having a good time with it. Okay, next is gonna be this like sample pigment that I think is called Chanting. I think it's from MAC, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this is where we're at. Again, there's not really a way, mm, there's not really a clear way to like show you. Actually, this looks pretty full, but I think it's because I traveled with it and there's just like maybe an air bubble in there honestly, but I've been using this a lot. Um, I've been trying to incorporate a lot, but like a little, only a little bit, you know, I've been using it, trying to incorporate it in every look. And actually with the sun pepper pigment that I'm trying to use for my project 20 uses, um, that is, I'm using that for this look, for that look. And also, um, for my pan and everything project pan palette that I have right now for a look, I'm using that, I'm using this as a transition shade for that look as well. So I'm using this basically as much as I can whenever I can. And then to when I have my pan that palette look, I use it like to line my lash line, my lower lash line. So yeah, I'm really trying to incorporate it. However, there's still a lot to, you know, move through and go through and it's a pigment. So it's just going to take a really long time, but I'm really enjoying this. I'm happy I brought this in and I'm really hoping, like I just really, I was looking through my um, eyeshadows and I just have so many pigments that I just don't ever use because they're just not convenient or not there. Or also I think part of it is with project panning. It's so nice to see like, you know, 
visual of like a pan being moved through but with pigment it's like so like it's not easy to see you know until it's basically gone like see progress so yeah but i'm happy with i know people have suggested like pressing it into a pan which i'm sure i could at some point but i'm also fine with not doing it i'm like i kind of just don't want to mess with it so yeah there's that sorry it's not a like satisfying viewing experience either but i'm really enjoying this so that's just how we're doing it right now. Um, okay, so, and maybe it'll help, like, right? Like, maybe it'll help you all, like, not everything has to be about progress, you know? It's just, like, about using your makeup, and if you have something that you're reaching for and it's fun to use and, you know, I don't know, just incorporating it, trying to find ways to incorporate it in each look. I don't know. Anyways, um, for my <clears throat> bronzer that I'm panning right now, I have the Milk Chocolate Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced in light medium. I don't, again, I don't think I have a picture of this. I just brought this in not too long ago, this one as well. Um, there's no dip or anything like that. I'm just using this, using it every day. It's working well, working fine. Um, yeah, no dip, no like signs of like the ridges of the pans underneath, nothing. Just working on it, just having fun with it. So yeah, I believe that's everything. I will say um, I have like an etc project pan that I have and that's the one that I have like a pan and everything and like uses where I'm trying to use palette 100 times or I'm trying to use my sun pepper pigment um, 20 times so I have like little goals and it's kind of like my for certain eyeshadows in that project and I only update it when I have something exciting that happens meaning like I hit those 20 uses or 100 uses or I finish something or hit pan and whatever um so i will say that i'm fairly close on one eyeshadow in my real her palette um those of you i feel like i've talked about it last time but i'm not 100 percent sure or maybe it was in my all my products i've hit pan in recently like that video but i have a shadow that i'm very close to finishing in that so that either will be in next month or the one after. We'll see if it's, you know, February or March that we're having an update, but I just want to like preface this and say it's close. So don't be surprised if next time I say I finished up another eyeshadow in my collection because it's going to happen very soon. But beyond that, I don't think anything else is going to be finished anytime soon. You know, I have a couple eyeshadows like that I've like mentioned here and there that are just like, you know, I'm close. I'm close on finishing a few of them. So um, that aren't necessarily in this project. However, when we finish a freaking eyeshadow, no matter what we're, if it's in a project or not, we're going to mention it because that's a big deal. So um, yeah, we have a couple that we're quietly panning in the back and that are close to being finished. So that's exciting. So other than that, yeah, we may have 18 to 19 shadow or 18 to 19 products done next time. Um, or we could still be at 17. We'll see but those are the ones that are closest. In terms of everything else here, the next thing I think would be closest to finishing are these two products, which will be really exciting because this is a big product to be just carrying around. So my contour and then this lip gloss, everything else has quite a bit of time left on it. Again, March, April, I think it'll be a, an exciting couple months. But that is where we're at with, uh, my Project 100 pan. I hope you all are doing well. I will say another part of this is that I'm doing a no buy, which I don't know about you all, but I've been saying everywhere on TikTok, there's people doing no buys left and right, but like life no buys, which seems very daunting. Um, but yeah, they're, it's, I love it. I love seeing, you know, people just I don't know taking a step back and being like do I actually need all this stuff because there's so much especially social media that just is like selling you things it used to only be like really commercials and like I don't know now it's now it's everywhere but yeah anyways <laughs> that being said um for my no buy I've been it's been fairly easy I think I've said this a while ago is I've um and I'll keep repeating it for those who are new to the channel. I've been doing this for a long time, these no buy project pans and no buys in general, but I, I started my project 50 pan, um, which I completed, I think in 2022, maybe, maybe 2022. I completed it then and it was like a couple years, if not a little bit more, I think a bit more, 
um, quite a few years of a project pan where I was not able to buy any new stuff that was in my inflated categories like my foundations I have that those categories under control if I you know use up a foundation I can buy a new one it's fine um, because I have like I think two foundations so um, I have one that I'm using and one on back backup easy uh, you know mascaras same thing you know I have you know maybe two to three open at one or two to three in my collection and one to open at once. So, you know, it's not, um, those aren't, those aren't the problem categories. The problem categories for me are like eyeshadows and lipsticks and all the colored fun products that fun to collect because for some reason it's like, you know, a little bit different, but all that to say, I now am like, it's, it's a habit not to buy things. So I'm, I'm able to like engage in social media and look at makeup now and not have a yearning want for certain things um or for most things I should say I mean every now and then it'll come up and bite me but I don't I ignore it like I think I was saying I was hearing from someone and they put it really like well the default answer is no and then if I actually need it like you know for something like a new eyeshadow palette like it's like no I can't because I'm on a no buy um, but I think beyond that too, like, I just have so much makeup. It's like, like an eyeshadow specifically, and I take forever to use it. Um, and I'm actually someone who really likes sticking with a look and like using stuff to completion. That's like where I get my satisfaction and joy from. And I'm not someone who like, you know, really takes the art of makeup super seriously in terms of like doing huge elaborate looks and all of that. Like I, I that's not me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm good with sticking with like, the one, two, three things that I have, um, which I actually have a lot more, especially in eyeshadow. So it's better for me if I have like a smaller collection that reflects that. Um, so that way, whenever I do finish something, I can go out and be like, oh, what's new? What can I put my hands on? And it's actually like exciting because then I'll be able to use it soon rather than it just sit there and collect dust. I'm doing well on my no buy. And also if you're on a no buy slash low buy journey and it's new to you, just know that, I mean, it takes a minute. It takes a long time for you guys to, or for you, for, it took a long time for me to kind of get to the place where it was just easier to like, I don't know, it was just easy to like look at something and just be like, okay, like that's there and I don't need it. Um, and not even, not even necessarily like factor me having it in my mind. Like I can look at a palette and like, I'm not like, wow, one day I'll be able to buy that or like, I want that or anything. It's just like, I can look at a palette and just see it and acknowledge it and not have to like own it, which is pretty cool. So basically my no buys are working, which is great. Uh, cause that's the point. That's the reason why I started this and why I went into this. And yeah, however, I do have like, you know, when I finish my 100 products, I can buy one new thing from an inflated category. Um, just so that way I'm not forever depriving myself because it will take a long, long time, if not forever to finish, you know, most of my collection. So yeah, it's a way for me to manage that and like be excited and also still be able to like kind of engage with stuff and be like, and like look at makeup and I don't know, I don't know, enjoy it and not, I don't know. And maybe say one day, but then if that's like years down the line. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know how your project pants are going, how your low buys are going, no buys are going. Let me know if you're starting out for the new year, if you're starting out doing this. I wish you all the best luck. I have lots of <laughs> big playlists of my Project 50 pan and now of course adding to this Project 100 pan. Yeah, and at the end of each video, I'm pretty sure almost every <laughs> every video I've done, I have a little recap of like how my no buys going. So yeah, hopefully it'll give you some encouragement and motivation and all those things. And I don't know, I wish you well and have a good day.